explain what are the main hazards and precautions associated with the use of conveyors. The main hazards associated with conveyors are, in running nip points, where fingers might be drawn into moving parts. Entanglement where loose clothing might become entangled with rotating parts. Falling objects from overhead conveyor systems. The precautions for safe use of conveyors include, warning alarms or sirens to alert people that the belt is about to start moving, guarding of moving parts to prevent drawing in an entanglement as far as is possible, ensuring that emergency stop buttons or pull cords are fitted and available for use, barriers to exclude people from the area. Fitting guards underneath overhead conveyors to catch falling objects, information, instruction and training for operators, controlling loose clothing and long hair for example by the use of overalls and hairnets in the workplace, maintenance by authorized persons only to ensure safe running, provision of a defect reporting system to highlight concerns. Identify what care shall we take while lifting with cranes to avoid crane accidents. Following precautions are implemented while lifting the load with crane. Correct type for the job and terrain, load within safe lifting capacity, careful sighting, use out triggers correctly, maintained and examined, trained operators, plan and supervise lifts, banksmen, Overload indicators work, avoid obstructions, check weather conditions, lift load close to the ground, use PPE, warning sign. Outline what factors relating to the task increase the risk of musculoskeletal injuries. Repetition the need for repetitive movements when carrying out the task for example typing for several hours. Force the physical force required to perform the task and the strain this puts on the body for example closing stiff catches on a machine. Posture any requirement to adopt an awkward posture for example stooping over into a bin to pick out contents. Twisting any twisting action required by the task for example twisting the wrist when using a screwdriver. Inadequate rest The potential for the worker to not having rest and working long hours leading to MSD example standing and working without rest. Identify the hazard posed to pedestrian in workplace. Slips, trips and falls on the same level, falls from height, collision with moving vehicles, striking by moving, flying or falling objects, striking against fixed or stationary objects maintenance activities identify the general hazard controls for workers in in workplace from moving vehicles codec the risk assessment considering normal patterns of movement predictable slash abnormal movements accident history adverse weather conditions maintenance requirements followed by control measures considering the management principles Eliminate the hazard, create a safe place, create a safe person, how the likelihood of vehicle accident can increase. Factors that can increase the likelihood of collisions, driving too fast, inadequate lighting, reversing without the help of a banksman, blind spots, such as corners and entrances, bad weather conditions, obstructed visibility, Poor design of pedestrian walkways and crossing points. Lack of vehicle maintenance. Identify the factors to be considered while assessing the load during risk assessment of manual lifting operation. Following factors shall be considered. Weight of the load, size and bulk. Shape to lift. Stability. Center of gravity, grip points or handles. Temperature of load hot or cold. Lifting equipment are supposed to be tested periodically, why it is important to test the lifting equipment and gears, what is the frequency of testing. Importance of testing of lifting gears, it is mandatory requirement, insurance companies need third-party load testing of lifting equipment, 
it establishes the integrity and soundness of the equipment that ensure the safety of the equipment. Equipment shall be tested by a competent engineer as per following criteria. Thorough examination, before it is used for the first time, periodically, after an event that may have affected its strength and stability. Frequency of thorough examination, every 12 months, where not used to carry people, every 6 months, where used to carry people, lifting accessories and loose lifting gears shall be tested every 6 months regardless of their use. Outline the factors when carrying out the risk assessment for long travel by vehicle. Following our thing to co-sider while doing risk assessment for long driving. Identify the hazards by focusing to journey, vehicle, driver. Identify who may be harmed for example pedestrian, driver himself. Evaluate the risks as per Liklahu and consequence and put control as eliminate the need to travel or travel by a safer means if road travel, take sensible precautions. Record the findings, review as applicable.